Welcome to the War here, and today we've got a saving a disaster battle slash situation playing as the World Walkers going up against Vashnar's Conquest. Which, this battle here is 100% impossible, but the situation itself is not. Because we have the option here to back off. This lineup isn't good. So what we want to do is back off. Once he got there, tells me to preservation, great. So we want to back off here. I also want to read out the email. So the guy says, Hi mate, got this disaster battle here. Vashnar's conquest spawned in my empire, far from my armies, and immediately declared war. Raised an emergency force with whatever I could get in one turn. They attacked the army standing outside the settlement. And it's a good thing you didn't put them inside the settlement, because that would have made the situation impossible. Now, notice here that things are a little bit different. Now, Vashnar is on force march, and he is not at available at the start of the battle. That's the key here. Now, this character, if we manage to defeat her by routing, probably not by killing, within a minute 53, we win the battle. And Vashnar is out of movement. Now, that doesn't get rid of Vashnar, and that's the goal here, to wipe out Vashnar entirely with the forces that we've got available here. But what we can do is just get her health down to about here, and then next turn do the same thing again, and because he's on force march, it should wipe him out. So let's jump in here and see what we can do. Now the thing is, it's easy to just sort of explain that that's all we got to do to um, to win the situation, right? But actually doing it is difficult because killing a single entity character that's on foot within two minutes is insanely difficult to do. Especially considering the two units that have Vanguard deployment are not good against single entities. They, they cannot kill this character in two minutes. But you know what I can do? I can push this character in a certain direction. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take these two. I want to face them that direction so they're able to run straight away. The enemy lord is going to deploy about here. So rather than attack into the character, here's what we're going to do. We are going to run through them and push them closer to our lord. Our lord is the one that can kill them quickly. And what we can do is inflict the faster, stronger enemy penalty as quickly as possible by dogpiling them with units. I'm going to put... Control group 3 for you, there. Because, yeah, it takes two minutes for the Norsk and Ice Trolls from this position here to get from one side of the map to the other. So I've got to try to bring her closer to them. So you're going to be control group 1. Same with you, control group 1. And this will be control group 2. Okay. Oh my god. You know it's real if I'm using control groups. Okay, ready? three as well. Okay. So what we want to do here is run straight through her and just push her close to this character. That's it. Just run straight through. She's already moving in that direction. Just push her through. Go, go, go. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Just run right through her. Whatever. Maybe I can slow it down a little bit there. Get in there. Okay, push her in this direction. Go, go, go. Okay, I've done a little bit of damage so far. That's it, that's it. Bring her in, bring her in. Every second counts. Oh, that was that was dumb of me. That was really dumb. Quick, 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 quick. Come on. Don't use your charge bonus, because that sucks, your charge attack. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Good. Alright, we're dishing out damage. You get in around the back. How much time have we got left? 40 odd seconds. Dishing out damage. Keep her pinned down. That's it, we're dishing out damage. Come on. Dishing out damage pretty quickly. Got 30 seconds left. The trolls have almost arrived. That's good. What we're trying to inflict here is a faster, stronger enemy's nearby penalty. Come on, just a few more hits. You can do it. 20 seconds. And so maximum battle cheats. If we can just get her leadership down a little bit more. Minus six. Come on, quick. You've got eight seconds left. And... Come on. Damn it. We had it. There it is. Boom. Okay. <laughs> we win the first battle. Okay, we win the first battle. Now, just really knock her health down as much as possible because we kind of need to kill her in the next one. But not kill her in this one here. Just dish out some damage. 
Like I said, it's a mad rush to get to her. And the thing is, if you have the the actual wolves fight her, they don't do much damage, and only so many entities can hit her at a time. So you really want to make sure he gets to her as quick as possible. That's why I tried to push her in that direction. We didn't want to fight her over here. Every every inch counts. Alright, she'll have wounds, that's good. But remember, don't kill her, because then we won't be able to pull off what we need to do next turn. Alright, 700 health should be fine. <laughs> Heroic victory. Now, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. But yeah, if you ever enter this situation with Vashnar's Conquest, and he ends up recruiting another army, this is something that you can do. And I imagine a lot of people will be like, Ah, oh, but this is cheese then, you know what? Look forward to having a couple of your settlements burned to the ground. If that's what you want to do, you just let it do that. So, a tiny little bit of damage on this character here. Now, we know that Vashnar is not going to be able to attack us again. And even if this one here did attack us again, we'd be able to win. Now, that being said, a second victory against Vashnar during the end turn won't wipe him out. We have to do it on our turn. Which is why I wanted to make sure that character survived. Both of them on Force March. Okay. So, come over to here. Yeah, he's desperately trying to get over here as quickly as possible. Wolfric is rushing in. Now, is there anything else in here that we can get? So, that'd be good, but it's... Needs Vanguard deployment or else... Don't bother. So that one's got Vanguard deployment. Honestly, I don't think we need to do it because that's only a little bit of health. Bloodthirsty. No. No. Okay. In we go again. Annihilation. So once again, we got a minute fifty-three, and we only have seven hundred and seventy-eight health to knock off this time. Let's do it. We pull this off. Entirety of Vashnar's conquest gone, without ever really having to fight Vashnar's conquest. Because, yeah, it could be total bullcrap with these rogue armies. They just show up, especially if you're doing a no-defeat campaign. They just show up, and you have one turn to manage it. And it's the thing is, even if you build a defensive settlement in all of your your regions, build a defensive garrison, you're still not going to be able to beat that. Because your garrisons give you, what, five or six extra mid-tier units? That's not going to be much. Okay, so this time... We can see exactly where she is, because probably because we're the attacker. Put you there. We get in much closer this time. Don't need to worry too much about control groups, I think. Should have plenty of time to manage this time, because we did such a good job in the previous one. Probably already got the faster, stronger enemies penalty going. Let's get in there, do a little bit of damage. You two get out of there. Let the Lord get in there unob unobstructed. Thing is, if he keeps knocking her down for the next minute and a half, then <laughs> that's going to be a problem. Come on. Just need a couple of hits. You can do it. This guy's got way higher melee attack than it. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. Get a hit in. Oh my god. He's not getting hits in. Imagine if we get to this point and we fail. Come on, everyone in there. Just gotta route it. It'd be good enough. Someone get a hit in, quick! Only got 50 seconds, that's actually plenty of time. There we go, she's gone. Done. See you, Vashnar. You are out of here. Now, what should happen here, because Vashnar was on Force March, that's it. He's gone. That's it. It's just done with. 10 minutes. Gone. <laughs> but you had to be able to see that such a situation was even possible and even then it's it's not easy to pull off well the second one was obviously a lot easier yeah just the right things in order to handle that I don't know how he expected me to be able to actually fight Vashnar head on there's no way we could manage it for one thing like tr ice trolls are good right 
but we're not playing as Winter Tooth, so they don't have that physical resistance. The Cold One Knights would have just caught up to us and killed us. Anyway, see you, Vashnar. And you are out of here. That's all I needed to do. Cool. So I can send this safe file back and just doesn't have to worry about it. And that's a really cheap way of just getting rid of Vashnar's conquest. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. I appreciate you. And we'll see you next time. Later, guys.